hello guys today we are doing this uh, simple animation design it's actually a tutorial uh, it's not a speed art video like the last one so i just wanted to share how i done this it's not uh, that much difficult so hope you guys enjoy it and learn something from it all right so the first thing you have to do is uh, bring your logo in a separate uh, AI file separate uh, every element that you want to animate in After Effects so make sure that everything works properly so what I have now now see uh, I have the logo mark in a separate layer and every letter in separate layer the background itself uh, in a separate layer so what I will do is uh, save it and open in After Effects so once we are in the After Effect, we uh, bring the file here. So how can you bring the file? You can just double tap over there uh, to open up the file, uh, the folder that uh, where you save your logo vector file. So I save it here. I can just uh, so when it's in the software, you can just drag it there on the timeline. So you have to right click on it go to create and convert to layered composition and double click on it you will see all your elements uh, in the composition but you can't like uh, edit them but you, first you have to convert them um, into shape the vector shape uh, once you create them then you can delete uh, the AI file because we don't need them uh, this is our background layer we don't need to eliminate uh, it at all so we can actually lock it so we'll go one by one uh, first we will go with the logo itself then every single element so I will add the position and scale keyframe to animate it because we are going to change its position and also its size so it's actually the original position though it will be the our last uh, point so when actually the logo will start it will be in the center and the scale will be up so this is how it going to be start so let's play it see uh, it's actually going uh, to the initial position but we actually want it to be like to the side to the center then go to the left to its original position so what we'll do we will add uh, actually copy the anchor point the position uh, position keyframe and paste it here you can just select the anchor point control C uh, bring your uh, you can see uh, slider to the frame where you want to be how long it will take it just depend on you how frame you, uh, how frame how much frame you want uh, you want to take it's actually like if you keep it far uh, from your uh, first keyframe it will take like long time but when you, you keep it closer it will take less time and also one thing uh, we have to create a little bit bounce over here so how will we create the bounce for that I will do like copy these this is the original one and paste it there all right the size of this one will be little less lesser uh, than the original one see so there is a bounce uh, in the animation but still it's not like that smooth that we want it's smooth but uh, when to give it like uh, easy ease if you are familiar with easy ease so you are gonna give it easy knees just select our keyframes right click on them keyframe assistance 
easy is if I show you the graph see uh, if I select the position uh, you can see it's uh, where the peak is uh, it's actually the sp speed meter you can say so th in the middle uh, the speed is actually uh, there so we can change uh, its speed according to our need so I'll, what I will do I will squeeze it from both of both end so now it actually uh, have it more attractive uh, you can say moment the same thing we will do with the scale we'll just bring it back And also we can just uh, if you feel like the animation is false we can just uh, increase the distance between the keyframes to make it more like uh, smooth and not smooth actually a little slow if you feel it uh, you have um, the animation is actually fast so you can just increase the size so the first part it done we animated our logo mark now we will actually animate the single letter every single letter we have uh, will do separately so we have a logo the second thing uh, will be the letter p so i bring it back here because i want it to be follow uh, our logo mark So when it should be, I guess we do the same thing uh, with letter P. If we enable its keyframes, bring them like so. I'll keep it like uh, 20 frames. So I will hold Shift and Control and press the L key once, twice copy keyframe one and paste it here so this is our original position and we actually change uh, this position right so what we'll actually do it's going to follow our logo right and I don't want it to be like pair suddenly so what we'll do we actually animate scale also you can also change the position of your keyframe uh, with the keyboard like if you hold alt and press the arrow key you will see it move one by one two three four five so I'll keep it uh, there and once we actually have this position so the size will be zero see it's not actually looking good now right now but once we add the easy ease it will look nice so just select all of them all right and easy ease and go to your graph select uh, position and squeeze them don't don't do it too much just a little bit take it see I feel it's a little late so I'll change the uh, position in the timeline I'll also the scale let me just do it oh, it's too fast mm, I think this is perfect okay 
so I think we can just bring it back um, this is perfect so we animated uh, P successfully now what I'll do I'll bring all the other letters Um, the same position and keep the distance of five uh, frame uh, per element like we have P here the other element the next element will be five frame later uh, like one two three four five So I distributed uh, all of them equally and our first letter is done. Now we'll animate the second one, the E. So we actually do the same thing, enable scale and position, bring them to 20 frames uh, forward, control shift, one, two. You actually you just need to copy and you can just paste it here to make it uh, equal uh, to uh, this distance uh, to the every letter because uh, we don't have any much space like the moving speed so what we'll do like because now the how now how far we can actually have to uh, now how far so we will add the uh, to change its position what we have to do just add in position plus 200 so it will change uh, its position in 200 points and it will be back uh, to its position original position and also the size uh, will just follow the same thing that we did with the last uh, letter P we select the keyframe hold the alt key and move it five frame forward and reduce the size to zero and just easy ease It's actually the same process, uh, nothing uh, will change. In between, you have to like make sure you are don't you know, over using. The same thing with the third uh, letter. It's actually the same thing uh, at the position scale. Move your position uh, keyframe 20 frames forward and move your. scale p frame uh, 5 frame forward and reduce the size easy ease them and from speed graph you can just edit its position i forget to add the position this plus 200 it will So I have done all like the letters one by one. 
so now we'll see how our animation actually looking so if i play it this is how it actually looking 